home invasions like this have residents in these suburbs on edge. In March, Leah and her husband Gavin were asleep when four teenagers broke down their back door. I just remember just yelling and just screaming at us to just shut up and just give us money and, and Gavin got out of the bed and um, physically pushed. We had two of them in the room and he got up and physically pushed um, them out and sh shut the bedroom door on them. He's then grabbed a bed from underneath the bed, at which point a hammer's come through the bedroom door multiple times of them trying to get in with us, with literally our entire body weight on the door, trying to prevent them from getting to us. Home security cameras captured Gavin chasing the young men out the front, but he couldn't stop them stealing both their cars. It's too, it's too traumatising for me to go back there and remember it. I don't know how they can say that the crime rate is falling because everyone, like everyone I know doesn't, nobody feels safe. The teenagers, described as being of African appearance, are still on the run. Every time I see a black person down the street or just anywhere, it's like a trigger. Before all of this happened, I wasn't scared of black people or people of colour or whatever. But now it's like I can't even like face someone in a store that's black because of what's happened to me. And I think that's really unfair. And now it's like I can't even like face someone in a store that's black because of what's happened to me. And I think that's really unfair. It shouldn't be like that. I can't even like face someone in a store that's black. I can't even like face someone in a store that's black. I can't even like face someone in a store. Shalom. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem. Rakhah Kwadash and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you, elect, as laboring. And I want to touch on a video on uh, this is a response of GMS Info Doc uh, Channel 11. Uh, this is uh, Apostle Aramlab and uh, just looking at this video, it's titled Unbelievable, and, and it is uh, unbelievable. It's, uh, it's outrageous how the, these so-called white people, man, these Edomites, has uh, created all the atrocities on the planet, have done all the wicked deeds, and, evil, and you can expect this out of a devil, uh, primarily because they believe this is uh, that God set this up for them, and he did, but they don't know it's for a short time. Okay, and it's it's wild because you'll see some um, you know you see some Edomites like this, and they who claim they want so-called black men. Okay, you know that's some a, a majority of them, but then they when the hell hits them, then they hate so-called black men. This is the uh, this is why they're called devils. Okay, this is why they're called devils. And you Jake, that's trying to marry into these Edomite white women. This is what's going to happen to you, man, okay? And vice versa, okay? You so-called black woman who married to the Edomite uh, men, all right? But they admire the strength that we have, but they, they're they envious of it, okay? Anyway, I'll go to a scripture real quick. Uh, Isaiah 13 came to mind. Job 20, 22 as well, when it says, uh, every hand of the wicked shall come upon them. I'm talking about... <laughs> To, you know, these Jake, they're going to come upon Esau and they're going to be doing more than robbing you. OK, I'm not going to go into detail about that. But um, uh, this is uh, Isaiah 13, 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. 
and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, okay? And what you're seeing is a breakdown in the society, man. See, before uh, 50 years ago or so, 60 years, 70 years on back, this white woman could say this and they'll go, uh, go on, a, on a lynch run. You know, they'll go try to gather up every nigga that looked like these person they talk about. But you notice in the clip, and, you know, I get detailed. When you notice in the clip, uh, this uh, news reporter says that she said uh, that they looked like black Africans uh, or, or so-called Africans, black Africans, whatever. Okay, they had the appearance of Africans, African-Americans. But so if a white man came up there and like white people don't commit crimes either, if they came in there with some black ski masses on, uh, would they still be there have the appearance of a black man? I don't know. This is just something that you got to look into. Anyway, she says she doesn't, she feels she's afraid for her life. She's afraid to go in stores. She afraid, like she's traumatized. She's afraid to uh, look at black men, almost as if you're walking down the street and a dog attacks you. Now, all of a sudden, you're afraid of every dog that you see in the street or in somebody's backyard. I know that I've been attacked by dogs in the past as a child. There's other people that's been formally attacked by dogs. I mean, I wasn't really attacked, but, you know, dogs chase. Uh, is that, is, does that get to the point now that you, ne you now can't look at any dog anymore? I don't know, okay? So now she can't go into Dunkin' Donuts and get her lattes because they're black. They're not African-American black, uh, Israelites, uh, supposedly, but they're black. They have dark skin. So now you're not supposed to go in there and get your Dunkin' Donuts latte from one of them so-called Arabs that are dark. Like so-called dark-skinned Arabs don't go around robbing people either. So that's the stereotype. Only the so-called black man goes around robbing people. And honestly, uh, Revelations 18 and 6 says, reward her even she rewarded you. Honestly, the so-called white man has done, done nothing but murdered, robbed, and raped. And you really can't blame the white woman in a sense. You can, but it's her, her leader, because we do blame her, but mainly the so-called white man. Okay, the, the black, the, the woman just is just, uh, a product of the man. She's just going to follow whatever the man do. Really, it's the Edomites in general. He's the cause. And then you got countries that look at Donald Trump and say the same damn thing. So what's the problem? Okay? They'll look at Donald Trump and say, oh, they're, they're, they're white, man. See, it's okay if the white man does it, but you do it. Uh, if if uh, Because of the oppression of Jake, who's, uh, and let's put it on the table, we under curse. And, and uh, Jake was Jake is oppressed. Okay, you uh, he, the educational systems are not set up for him. The high schools and the colleges are not set up for him. There's only a small remnant that's going to make it to uh, out of that. Okay, it says therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth and shall remove her uh, uh, of her place, and uh, lo and uh, in the wrath of the Lord of hosts. And in the day of his fierce anger, and it shall come to pass, and it shall be as the chase row, uh, that uh, which is confusion, and as a sheep that no man taketh up, okay, that they shall every man turn to his own people, and flee every one into his own land, and that's what's going going to happen, okay. These scriptures break down itself. When that hell comes. Uh, Esau is going to go to his own people, okay? Uh, the so-called white man is going to go to his own people. Jake going to go to their own people. Everybody's going, that's going to be the Lord starting to set up the kingdom. It's going to start, the scripture says the kingdom starts within you, starting talking, starting with the elect. But the Lord is going to show his power before he destroyed this place, okay? So, um, so what about when I see a black person? I've been robbed at gunpoint by a so-called black man. I've been robbed. I've I've had my car break, broken into. I, I've had there's people and brothers had their houses breaking and broken into. There's all kinds of stuff that happened with amongst our people. 
but I, I, I can't stand to look at a black person. And I hate niggas, no doubt. I don't like uh, the two thirds of our people, but we all oppressed together. So when the white man goes around and start bombing shit, you know, and what about all those people? Um, what about all those people with the 9-11? Okay. What about that? You blame the so-called Arabs for that. They can't stand you either. And so this is what this what's coming to pass. They can't, they can't uh, stand you either. What about Timothy McVeigh with the Oklahoma City bombing? That was a white man who destroyed and killed many lives, so-called anyway. We know it's set up. But now you can't look at every white person now because this white man destroyed the building? Okay, what about the Olympic, Olympic Park bombing? So-called white man done that, and now you can't look at white people even? Get the hell out of here. You devils are full of it, man. You're full of it. White on white crime is, is false. But when a so-called black man commits a crime on you, it's every black man's fault all of a sudden. Okay? Let's go on to 18. It says, Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall spare uh, no children, shall not spare children. So this is the beginning of Esau trying to set you up as a target. You jakes. You got these other groups, uh, Edomites groups coming at GMS talking about spiritual fights, which is all ultimately carnal. Okay, you're seeing the re you're what's being revealed is Esau in, in his and her flesh. That's what's being revealed. Esau, all the rape, robbery, and murder, castrating us and lynching us on trees and doing all the wicked abominations. And now we're supposed to sit there in the sight of y'all and love y'all and look at you and say we can stand you and enjoy you. But now you get robbed by so-called black men, possibly in ski masks, so I don't know. And now all of a sudden, all black people are messed up and you can't stand the sight of them. And this bitch is probably the main one that voted so-called Barack Obama in, who, who she thought was a so-called Israelite. The main one. Okay. She the main one that fantasizes over, I'm pretty sure, over so-called black men. Get the hell out of here. This is nothing new. This is the uh, uh, something that she had in her all along. The opportunity just awake and arose itself. Okay? For her to bring out what she all along. Okay? It's these devils, man. Numbers 35 and 33 says the blood cannot be cleansed but by the blood of them that shed it. Okay? So when you look at these shows, uh, these crazy uh, crime shows that, that with real dramatization that show what actually happened, they always show the black man raping the white woman or beating the white woman up and putting her in the trunk. That boogeyman. But the, but the white supremacists, the white devils that go around and rape and molest your children at an alarming rate, that kidnaps children and uh, tie them up and have sex with them at young ages. Nobody has nothing to say about that. She can't look at herself and say, I can't look at a white man no more because he rapes our, uh, he's raping our women. He's raping the so-called Asians. He's going over in Africa and molesting little boys, which is actually happening. He's going over to China and stealing young girls and boys and r raping and molesting them. You won't see her make a comment like that, will you? Anyway, let's go on. Because this is, you know, this is crazy, man. Let me go to uh, Isaiah 13 and uh, 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Okay? So you got the Israelite group saying, hey, Esau can make it to the kingdom. And right now we're, you know, we were on the lowest point of uh, this this society. How are you going to already be in slavery and at the lowest point and say Esau can make it come into the kingdom, and they're further oppressing you? I don't get it. Uh, verse sixteen: Their children also shall uh, also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, 
their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So this is just the beginning of what you see. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but this is just the beginning of what you see. And, and ravished means basically taken. Okay? Taken. This is just the beginning. You're going to, and, and that day, and I'll say in that day, you're going to have sure enough home invasions. Okay? Where husbands are going to be getting killed. Children getting killed or taken into slavery. Concubines, whatever you want to call it. And wives being ravished. This is all coming back, man. This is all going to happen. Whenever a nation gets taken, that's what happens. They did it to our women. I don't understand it. The, the, the big philosophy of Esau is what goes around comes around. That's his biggest philosophy. That's his, his, the, the, the claim that he states. What goes around come around. And then we tell you, according to the scriptures, what's going around is going to come back around. Now everybody has a problem with it. I mean, that's just unright what you call unrighteous justice, man. That's all I have on that. Shalom.